Hi, it's Jenny. And Daniel. Today we are here at the Food and Wine Festival at Disney California Adventure, and we are here for a mixology seminar. It's hosted on the Sonoma Terrace right behind us, and today's seminar is on drinks at the Lamplight Lounge. This seminar is $25 per person, and it does include an actual cocktail drink. Guests must be 21 and older in order to reserve this experience, and you have to make your reservations in advance. Come learn how to make a special Disneyland Resort exclusive drink with us. Hello everyone, and welcome to Disney California Adventure Food and Wine Festival. And now, please welcome your host. Hey everybody, how are we doing today? Welcome, welcome to the 2022 California Adventure Food and Wine Festival. My name is Elaine. It is my pleasure to welcome you here to the beautiful Sonoma Terrace. We're so happy to have you with us today for our Mixology Education and Tasting Seminar. Yeah, someone wooed that. I like that. Today we will discover cocktail creativity with two expert mixologists throughout weekends in March. You can applaud for them, yeah, come on. I like that. Throughout weekends in March and April, we'll be hosting culinary demonstrations, tastings, and more. You can check all of that out at Disneyland.com slash food and wine. Did anyone have breakfast this morning? Well, if you didn't, you know, I think we're about to introduce you to your new breakfast brunch staple, especially for the weekends, you know, or a day off. So this session will be presented by two of our, two of our resorts, Mixology Masters from the Lamplight Lounge. Yay, ooh, we got some fans. Lobster nachos in the house. Yeah. The Lamplight Lounge, located in Pixar Pier, features an upstairs lounge with appetizers, signature cocktails, shareable menu options, and full dining downstairs. Its unique theme celebrates the creativity, inspiration, and personalities of the artists and storytellers who bring Pixar stories to life. And there are so many fun details to discover there. But right now, let's discover how to make a fantastic drink. From the Lamplight Lounge, please welcome Corey Miano and Jeremy Reyes. Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome, welcome to Disney California Adventure Food and Wine Festival Mixology Seminar. Uh, my name is Corey. Uh, my name is Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> and before we get into the actual drink, uh, let's tell you a little bit about ourselves. Uh, give you our qualifications so you feel at ease. Um, <laughs> uh, I've been with the resort uh, a total of, uh, oh good lord, going on about 13 years now. Uh, I started back when Lamplight Lounge was actually Ariel's Grotto, um, the Cove Bar, if you, anyone who remembers the Cove Bar. Yes. Yeah. Fun still, wheels. Still think, still have aspects of that hanging around. Uh, I've been bartending for most of those 13 years uh, at the Cove Bar and now at the Lamplight Lounge. I've also worked here at the Trattoria, and I've been a part of the Food and Wine Festival uh, for years, years and years. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, uh, my name is Jeremy. Um, I'm one of the lead bartenders at the Lamplight Lounge. Uh, I was down at the Bayou uh, way back when for about nine years um, I've been here. So I'm excited for you guys. We're going to have a great time. Get this party rolling. And uh, yeah, let's Excellent. get it going. All right. So. Um, how many of you are familiar with the Lamplight Lounge? Raise your hands here. Yes. yes. All right. Oh, excellent. All right. So, okay. yeah. Well, you know that we have a great menu there and some great drinks. How many of you know that the Lamplight Lounge actually does brunch? Yes. Oh, yeah. Brunch. Almost. Almost, oh, almost the same number of people. Good. Uh, so yeah, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays uh, we do brunch from opening till one o'clock. It is an entirely new food menu, and we also have some uh, specialty drinks on the menu as well just for brunch and I believe we'll be making one of those special cocktails for you today uh, this is going to be our cinnamon toast breakfast cocktail yeah cereal <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um, the cocktail itself uh, was kind of inspired by Saturday morning cartoons and breakfast cereal yeah. how many of how many of you are old enough to remember that <laughs> yes thank you I don't feel alone how many uh, you still watch cartoons all right. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the one of the best parts about Saturday morning cartoons was you know pouring a bowl of breakfast cereal, and the best part of the cereal was 
the milk afterwards, right? Whether it turned your milk different colors, or uh, as today, it infused it with cinnamon and sugar. We're gonna be making a grown-up version of that cinnamon sugar cereal milk for you. Yeah. Uh, show us what we got. Alrighty, friends, so starting with uh, your left side, the clear is going to be um, vanilla vodka. Really, really good. And on your right side, this yellow clear is going to be Frangelico. That is a hazelnut liqueur. Hazelnut. Very tasty. And then starting from the bottom, we have a rum chata. It's a horchata, if anybody's had horchata before. Amazing. And then we have your very own <laughs> cereal milk here. It is uh, cinnamon, sugar, cream, and milk. And milk, yeah. yeah, obviously milk, guys. Yeah, we mix it ourselves every morning for brunch. Um, yeah, it's basically just cream, milk, and cinnamon and sugar. Right. Yeah, so uh, are, we, uh, are we gonna get right into it, or? I think so. You well, guys all ready? Uh, your equipment. So any good bartender has good equipment, so we're gonna go over that. You should have one metal shaker. This is the lower half of your shaker. He has a banana so over you there. got that. that. And then you're gonna have a, uh, a Boston shaker. This is gonna be your other half of that. It's gonna be the glass, uh, glass. And that should fit right into on top of the metal one. Should fit just like that. We'll get to that in a second. You should have a Collins glass. That is a nice cylindrical cocktail glass for you there for your drink. You should also have a strainer. A nice little mesh spring metal strainer. And then a jigger. That should be the uh, hourglass shaped metal uh, looking thing. And that will be. We, we did pre-measure your alcohols, but if you want to feel like a real bartender, you can measure them again using this. And we'll go over that step by step. And uh, a little cup of uh, cinnamon toast cereal, which will be the garnish on your drink if you have not eaten it already. And uh, just everyone to, have that. Yeah. Just to clarify, guys, um, how many by show of hands have ever shaken a glass or shaken any bar tools? All right, oh, wow. perfect. Several people. So awesome. um, it is glass, so we're going to go ahead and make sure to be careful. Um, just for safety reasons here, I'll be watching you guys, obviously, so... Yeah, before uh, you start shaking, follow us, and we're going to go over that step-by-step step yeah. so you don't end up wearing your drink. Yeah. All right, All right. Right. You should have a bucket with ice and a scooper. There should be one per table. If it's not melted already. All right, everyone got... Are we all good? Yeah. All right, let's get Excellent. it rolling. Let's get this started. All righty. First off, you're going to take your mixing tin, and you're going to add a scoop of ice. Scoop of ice, friends. It's a little difficult for us because our bowl is a little smaller. Ice me. Ice me, baby. All right. All right. You got ice in your shaker tin. Now, some, some people learn not to put the ice in first. Honestly, it doesn't matter too much when you're actually bartending. Yeah. We find it easier to do that before the liquid goes in and it splashes everywhere. So, I'm well, going to give you a second to get the ice. All right. Everyone share, please. Don't use too much because this you're also gonna need to put fresh ice into your Collins glass. So don't yes, throw just, a, just a scoop in the not, shaker. Not uh, too crazy filled up. Uh, just enough to get it nice and cold, all right? Yeah, so your mixology trivia for the day. Does anyone know why we shake drinks with ice? Anybody? Well, two reasons. One obviously is to chill, chill the drink. The other is to let the ice melt a little and impart water to your cocktail. Most good cocktails will actually be like one part water. And that usually comes from the ice. So there's a little mixology trivia. You can impress your friends when you go out drinking. Yeah. All right, so let's start with the vanilla vodka. The clear cup. You want to take your jigger and you can pour your vanilla vodka into the smaller half of your jigger. And you should see there are markings on the inside. One ounce will be exactly to the top of the small side of your jigger. And then just go ahead and dump that right into your mixing tin. All right, vanilla All right. vodka is in. It is it in. Fantastic. Step number two, take the Frangelico, the clear yellow. Once again with your jigger, dump that in. It should come up to just about a half ounce. Once again, just follow the markings on your jigger and again straight into your mixing tin. And if you couldn't guess, your third portion, the rum chata, chata, should be about a half ounce of that as well, into your mixing tin 
from your jigger as well. All right, so everyone's got all their ingredients in their mixing tin. Oh, sorry, I almost forgot. The no, most important forgot about our the cinnamon sugar here. milk. Now, uh, the cinnamon sugar milk has the unfortunate property of being very thick and very delicious, and it does uh, separate a little bit. So we provided you all with a straw. Stir Go that ahead and take that up. straw. Stir up that milk. And once you give it a nice little stir, go ahead and dump that into your mixing tin as well. It should be about two and a half Strong. ounces. Strong. It was about two and a half ounces of the cinnamon sugar milk mix. Another straw. Anybody else need straws here, friends? Anyone else need a straw? Show hands, two. A couple straws. Oh, some more. Now this is the part where you want to yep. follow us because now it gets a little tricky. It gets a little tricky, guys. Uh, so we're going to put this on top of, if you guys want to go ahead and stand up, just get the yeah, filler thing. It's, it's going to be a little easier if you stand up. Yeah. So if so you're we willing. Shake this baby up. <laughs> Alrighty. So we're going to go ahead and set it on top and give it a little tap. Make tap. sure it sits in there. If it sits at an angle, that's perfectly all right. Alrighty. You just kind of want to make sure it's tight. Not too tight. All righty. You guys all ready? Two hands. Shake it up. Two hands. Shake, Go shake, ahead. shake. Up and shake, down, shake, left shake. and right, in front of you, back yeah. and forth. Yeah. And keep going. Keep going. And One. stop. Have a time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, so now that else, that's all, all right. done, guys, on the left-hand side here, you notice there's a little crevice. Let's go ahead and give it a little love tap. There we go, separate that. That's why we try, yep. that's why we, you don't want to put it too tight because you don't want to have it be stuck. So you've gotten your separate, your mixer separated. You're going to take your strainer and that's going to go right on top. Make sure the mesh or the springy side is down and it should fit nicely onto the top. Nice and snug. Your shaker. Now you want to take your Collins glass and get that ready. Now, the proper way to grab this is kind of like a baseball. You want to put one finger on top of the strainer on that little ledge there, kind of like give it a little spring. The other finger is below and your thumb on the mixing tin. So it's kind of like a baseball. You grip it kind of like a baseball. It's like a curveball. Exactly. Then you're going to take that, hold it down nice and tight, and strain that drink into strain your Collins glass. Right on in. Don't spill like me though, because uh, <laughs> it's my first time. There we go. Go ahead, make sure you get it all in there. Fantastic. Everyone doing all right? No one's wearing their drink yet, right? Good. All right. <laughs> and then, of course, the next step, if you have any remaining ice, go ahead and start top your drink with the fresh ice. Fresh ice, guys. Top it off. Now, if you run out of ice, don't worry. It doesn't have to go all the way to the top. Actually, you don't want it to go all the way to the top because once you have your ice in your drink, it should be looking nice and fine, very pretty by itself. But of course, we do have to give it that extra little touch that we love to do at Lamplight Lounge. And you're going to take that cinnamon sugar cereal and you're just going to give it a little top of the nice cinnamon toast cereal. Let's pop it right in there. It's right Ooh, on top. Oh, that looks so good. All right. Oh, yeah, we're looking real good. Fantastic. I wish I could drink this with you guys. <laughs> what do you got, man? And you just top here. it with, your, with that straw right in there. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just created the Cinnamon Toast Breakfast Cocktail Cinnamon from the Lamp Light Lounge Brunch Menu. Congratulations. Yeah. Give yourself a hand. Give yourself a hand, guys. Woo! Well done. Cheers, well done. Congratulations. Cheers. Please don't take my job. Ooh, amazing. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. All righty. How's well, it tasting, guys? Is everybody raising their hands? It? Is it good? Doing Bad? Good? All right. All right. Well, 
while you enjoy your drinks, we're going to open up the floor to some uh, Q&A right now. If you have any questions at all about the Lamplight Lounge, oh Lord, <laughs> about the Lamplight Lounge, about bartending, about alcohol, whatever you like, please feel free to raise your hand or, oh, question. Ah, yes, that is a great question. He would like, the guests would like to know the actual recipe for an individual size of these drinks. And we do have that for you if anyone wants to uh, take a note. Let's see, where did I go? A mental note. <laughs> well, uh, aside from the alcohol portions, which were, uh, the alcohol portions were one ounce vanilla vodka, half ounce of Frangelico, half ounce of the rum chata, uh, which is a horchata with rum liqueur. Uh, the milk mix is going to be one ounce milk, uh, so 1%, 2%, whole milk, whatever you like to use. One ounce of heavy cream, uh, one teaspoon or more, depending on your preferences, of sugar, and then about an eighth of a teaspoon or just a little pinch of cinnamon. So all of that will make one individual cocktail just like this. Feel free to adjust the sugar cinnamon depending on your taste. But that should be just about what this uh, comes out to per person. All right, well, in All that right, case, well, please enjoy your drinks. Enjoy your drinks, guys. Uh, make sure you check out the coasters that your drinks are sitting on. Those oh, are yeah, if anybody needs coasters, we have coasters. extra ones as well, okay? Featuring Pixar artists. And please come visit us at the Lamplight Lounge. We'd love to have you, and, you know, you can't go wrong with us. Yeah. Like we said, we're one of the best bartenders in the Lamplight Lounge. I personally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank stuff. you guys so thank much. You. Really appreciate you. We just finished our mixology seminar here at Sonoma Terrace. It was a fun lamplight lounge menu item, the cinnamon toast crunch milk. I don't think that's what it was called, but it's basically Delicious. cinnamon toast crunch milk, but the alcoholic version, and it was really good. This is a really fun and unique experience that you only get to try during the Food and Wine Festival. These seminars are $25 a person, so we highly recommend them if you have one on a date that's available when you're coming to visit the parks. Thank you for joining us here. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you learned in the comments down below. Please like this video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It really does help us bring you more magical content. And we hope we put you in a magical mood.